everybody, welcome back. Uh, I thought it was time to do a, a tutorial with you guys. Um, and this is something I've been kind of thinking about for a while. And this morning I just got up and I thought, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, it's the faux leather technique. Um, but I've been wanting to do just a, a really rustic kind of envelope. And then I've added a snippet, a little snippet roll as um, cluster there. So, um, if you've followed my faux leather tutorial for making a journal cover, it's very similar to that, but uh, it's just, I thought I'd do it for some of the new subscribers who maybe haven't seen that tutorial. So, um, so yeah, let's just get started, and because uh, I will have to cut off at some point and do some stitching on the machine, so... I'll set this to the side. Now what I decided, I've been playing around with this guys and I think it's best to double this paper up to give it a really nice sturdy feel to it and it does feel like leather. I love this technique so much. Um, so what I've ended up doing, I've cut um, the craft paper. Um, I finally picked up a roll a couple days ago and I've been itching to get in here and uh, make some pockets with it. And this is what prompted me, I thought last night, um, that uh, I'm going to try this technique with uh, the craft paper. So you just decide how big you want the envelope. Um, this one I've cut at about 7 inches by about 9 and a quarter. But, you know, just um, whatever size you want to make it. Now what I did find out, guys, I think it's going to be best to stitch this before we apply. This is what you're going to use. I'm so sorry. I should have showed this at the beginning so you can gather everything together. So you're going to need craft paper and this. Um, you could use envelopes. I've done that, obviously, for my um, journal covers. but um, And you probably could just use copy paper, but I just really wanted to try it with the craft paper and see how it come out and I love it so okay so anyways I think cut you two sheets run it through the um, sewing machine if you don't have a sewing machine you're going to have to get your glue stick out and glue this together because like I said I tried it as a single leather um, layer and I don't like it because it's a bit too flimsy I like stuff to have a little bit of um you know, some strength to it. Um, so this is at, at this point, I'm going to run over, put it through the machine, and then we'll come back and start working on uh, getting that nice leather color to it. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've run that through the machine. Um, I had already changed my thread out from the black, um, because I'm starting on a couple of new journals today, so... I couldn't be bothered to switch it back to black. So, and and I thought about it, and I thought, well, actually, once I apply this, let me just um, lift this up so you guys can see a little bit more. I'm hoping once I apply this, maybe it'll make the um, <clears throat> the thread start to look like it's brown, and it is. So that's awesome. Yeah, you can see. Look at that. That's going to be gorgeous. So, don't bother with the black thread. You can get away with white if you prefer. The reason I opted to do the sewing prior to this step is because I found once I had done this, the um, it's changed, you know, the paper, it kind of stretched it a bit. So, I ended up having to come back and trim it. Um, so this is just hopefully going to eliminate that step. So yeah, like I said, I just played around with it a bit and, um, and this is why I thought, well, I'm going to just tweak it slightly. So what you're going to do is just add this to both sides. You do it and have to do it on the inside. It's just I personally like it when you open it up for it to have that leather color on the inside as well. Okay, 
so now let's do this this side and then I'm going to have to get my <coughs> heat gun and give this a dry. You do not have to do this. I'm just doing it for time's sake because normally I would just sit this over to the side and let it dry for, you know, depends on how long or, you know, how much humidity you've got in the house. Uh, it shouldn't take more than, you know, 30 minutes or so. And if you if you're in a place that you got some good sun, just pop it outside for a minute and that'll dry it up because then we're going to come back and crumble this up to get it um, looking like just an old sack. Yeah, I'm about to give up on uh, ever having nice hands again. <laughs> I have worked so hard with um, moisturizers and at night I coat my hands in shea butter, coconut butter. I've tried it all guys but working with paper it just sucks the moisture out so I'm just about ready to just give up on it. I keep hoping as summer comes around and, and I'm using less heat um, that maybe I'll get a bit of relief from it, but oh gosh, the paper sure does pull the moisture out. Alright guys, I'm sorry for the noise, but I'm going to have to hit this quickly with uh, some heat so that we can move on to the next step. So if you want to just turn off your sound, now's the time to do it. That's um that's dry enough, I think. Let me just flip this over. So now I'm just gonna crumble this up. And then at this point, if you want, just kind of uh, straighten it out a little bit. If you want to come back and hit it with this again, it's going to go into those little creases and make that stand out even more. So it's going to look more like old aged leather. Yeah, I absolutely love the journal covers that are done like this. I've done tags in the past. I think what I'll do is I'll start a playlist for the faux leather. That way, if, if you're interested in the uh, journal cover and tags, um, it's the same process, but, you know, some people just visually need to see that. So I'll, I'll do a, pra a playlist separate for faux leather. So let me just hit this again, guys. you know just bring it up to where you want it to be I kind of like to have a bit of a gap because I find it if you put it all the way up it's very difficult to get things in and out of those envelopes so I've started leaving a little bit of a gap um, and then I'm just going to run it back over to the machine and thinking about it um, once I do this final stitch I'm going to need to put that back over because it's going to show white on my uh, thread so you could at this point round the corners I don't want to on this because I want it to I don't want it to be too finished if you know what I mean look at that oh my gosh I so love 
I love the look of these and they feel honestly guys they do feel like leather it's amazing I just love this um, technique so much let me pop over to the um, machine because what I'm going to do is just run a stitch up here and here to close that off and then I'll see if I can find something we'll make a little bit of a snippet um, you could just at this point add a little piece of lace and a button it's just totally up to you how you want to carry on at this at this stage you could um, run some lace I you know I don't tend to go too um, too much but uh, I do feel like the um, the little snippet cluster looks really nice so I'll be back hey everybody okay I'm back I've run that through the machine again to close it up and uh, as you can see it's really starting to get a nice color you could just do um, if the more layers of this you do the richer it's going to become so because uh, you can already see the difference from the first one and this one this one's had uh, three coats now so it definitely becomes more and more aged um, okay so I went and got my little stash of things. I'm just this one. I'm going to use a button instead, um, and I'm just going to very quickly stitch this together, and then I'm going to glue this one. I sewed this one, but I don't like seeing that. I could cover it up. I know that's no problem, but this one I'm just going to actually glue down with some Fabri-Tac. So I've just chosen a couple of things here. Um, Let's see if I could get another little piece of old lace I've got, maybe. Just give it a bit more. Yeah, I like that. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I was thinking this morning, I was wondering about, um, you guys know I love Chris Stapleton, um, and I've been wondering if Morgan has had her baby. So I was trying to f do a search and see if I could get any information. I haven't yet. Um, so I'm assuming she hasn't. But if she has and you guys know about it, please pass on because I'm I love to follow those two. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're such a sweet couple. They're one of the few people in in music that seems very genuine at the level that they are. I love to watch them. I've, I saw Chris Stapleton in uh, 2017. I was lucky enough to get a ticket. That was before he he was he was popular, but not to the level he's at now. And I know now I'll I'll never be able to afford to see him again. I I don't think I'll ever be fortunate enough to get a ticket to him. But I was really really uh, lucky. I picked us up tickets and we saw him in Columbus, Georgia. And oh my gosh, it was a amazing concert. Um, so I'm super grateful I got to, to see him before he got mega stardom. I'm wondering about just having it down there this time. I think I will. I think I'm going to, because that's such a big snippet, I'm going to put it down there. And I've not tried this with the glue. I'm hoping it's going to hold okay. I don't think there's anything that Fabri-Tac wouldn't stick to. It's pretty good glue, but... Yeah, I really like those. Those have come out beautiful. Like I said, it's um, just another way to, to use that technique, and I love the idea of these being in a journal, just as a floating envelope. So there you go, guys. Another quick project for you to do before the weekend. Um, and I'll give some thought this weekend to some more little tutorials next week. And I'll definitely be back with something. So 
Um, off to the car boots on Sunday. I've got two car boots on Sunday. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. The following weekend I'll have the flea market to look forward to, so I'm super excited about that. But I'm excited about my car boots as well. I really enjoy do doing those on the weekend. And last weekend was kind of a dud car boot, so I'm hoping that, that this weekend I'll find some goodies. Um, and if I do, uh, if I have a decent poll, I'll show you guys. Um, but if it's just a couple of items, I wouldn't bother with it. I'll save. I'll push it over to the following week because I am hoping to get a really good haul in from the the flea market that weekend. But you guys have a great weekend. I hope you're able to spend some time in your happy space and uh, create something beautiful. And I'll see you back here next week. Take care. Bye.